Das Wort hat jetzt Na, Mr. Farage. Thank you. Well, there's a great degree of unity here this morning. A common enemy, rich people, uh, successful companies, um, evading tax, which of course is a problem. Uh, avoiding tax, which is uh, not illegal, uh, but it gives this whole chamber this morning a high moral tone. And as Mr. Barroso says, it's all about the perception of fairness. Because there is the added bonus, of course, that it drives a wedge between the United Kingdom and the Channel Islands, the Isle of Man and the Caymans. But before we uh, declare our virtues, perhaps we ought to look just a little bit closer to home. And I hope that uh, the taxpayers all over Europe uh, listen to this. If we look at the officials that work for the European Commission and work for the European Parliament, the highest category are people that earn a net take-home pay of just over £100,000 a year. And yet, under EU rules, they pay tax of 12%. It's tax fraud on an absolutely massive scale. And Mr. Barroso, I would say to you that how can that be deemed to be fair? How can people out there struggling, the 16 million unemployed in the Eurozone, how can they look at these institutions, not only paying people vast sums of money, but allowing them tax and also, of course, pension benefits on a scale not seen anywhere else in the world? So um, I suggest we have a bit less of this high moral tone. And what have these officials given us? Well, they were the architects of the euro, which is a complete disaster. Their obsession with global warming, which chimes uh, very strongly here, means we're despoiling our landscapes and seascapes with these disgusting wind turbines and driving up energy prices. But never let it be said, uh, never let it be said that I can't acknowledge success when I see it. And I'm sure the citizens of Europe will all clap and cheer loudly that the grave mortal danger of olive oil in dipping bowls has been removed by the officials. Well done, everybody. Now, there's a question from Mrs. Yakonsari for you, sir. Mr. President, thank you. I hope that the citizens of Europe have heard Mr. Farage's cynical views and his praise for the UK's tax havens. Mr. Farage, don't you think it is a good idea that the European Council is talking about tax havens and tax evasion. Is there nothing good in Are you so cynical that you think it's such a bad idea? I agree with you that tax uh, evasion is a problem and is costing governments money, but we should remember that tax avoidance is legal. And the biggest reason that tax havens are allowed to prosper is we've got this uh, very status mindset uh, that we must try and get as much tax out of successful individuals as we possibly can. If you do that, and if you have a very complicated tax system, people will do all they can within the law to avoid paying tax. And the answer for Western governments is to learn some of the lessons from the 1980s in Britain and America. Bring taxes down, simplify taxes, and then for those that wish to obey the law, there's no need to use tax havens. Thank you.